Baltimore City leader is addressing a traffic issue that you brought to light just a few weeks ago. Yeah, a nearby business owner witnessed three accidents in just one day at the intersection of Hurley and Wilkins Avenue. Now Councilwoman Felicia Porter says it's one of her top priorities to correct. Approaching her seventh month in office, Baltimore City Councilwoman Felicia Porter says she knows District 10 has some critical needs she must address. When I saw this one, um, this was on my radar, but I did not have an indication of how, how bad it truly was. You hear skirt, a loud boom. We all, you know, come out to see what's going on. We're kind of used to, you know, hearing accidents going on. Asad Williams earlier this month showed us how low hanging lamps blocking drivers view of traffic lights, along with faded lines showing drivers where they should stop were a few contributing factors to frequent crashes, as well as this sign heading into the intersection knocked in the wrong direction. They're all key factors Councilwoman Porter is hoping to eliminate. She shared some of her ideas to improve safety in the area, like installing speed cameras, similar to what Assad Williams proposed, speed bumps, and the most obvious, more focused, intentional patrol. With the Southwest Police District just nearby, um, this is an opportunity for us to begin to, to have some sort of coordinated approach um, with the Baltimore City Police Department as well on this issue. Porter tells us while some of those measures have already been enacted, like involving BPD, others could take more time. In the meantime, though, she says she's advocating for more funding towards traffic calming measures throughout the city and working to ensure Mayor Scott and his administration are aware of the problem's severity. Now, that issue is a little more concentrated in District 10, but it reflects a broader need for transportation improvements across other districts within the city of Baltimore. This is a public safety issue now. When we're seeing um, speeding um, in this particular intersection that could have resulted in a loss of life, then it transfers over to a public safety issue. Shared along with frequent check-ins with the Department of Transportation within the next two weeks, her office will be conducting a mass canvassing effort where more business owners and residents within District 10 can weigh in on their concerns.